TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. This is Monday. Uh, this is Monday, the June, June the 6th, 6 6 22. And we're looking at the 10 a.m. Tiger Financial News Network market update. Here we go. The Dow is up 255 at 32,166. It's really important that in the next couple of days we break across the 33,272 high that was its peak A in the Chapman Wave methodology just uh, three, four days ago, sessions ago, I should say. And we cross that threshold and make a really strong leg B. It's no use going to 33,292, get stuck in the 33,290s. It needs to just pierce that and go quite a bit higher. Really important. Now what we're also looking at is MACD's good stochastics flat at 91%. That's what you look for in, in, in a buy mode. You want actually... A buy signal will go to a buy mode as soon as it goes to 33,273. The S&P also a very nice move up. We had that consolidation Thursday and Friday. Uh, S&P is up 54 at 4162. It sounds great, but it needs to cross the 4177.51 level for a leg D. The weekly chart will then start to improve. Looking at the QQQ, NDX 100. Uh, it's lagging, but it's got a way to go. It's up five at 311.57. It needs to cross this threshold and go to a leg C, and it needs to do that in the next day or two. Uh, that's the 3.0, the 314.56 level of Thursday, and then that 50-period exponential moving average around about 3, 318 kicks in as a target. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. It is in leg D, extended in the Chapman Wave methodology in terms of a buy mode, going to a, a peak D. Now it's in leg D, and it's the only one that's thus far in a D. But so far, the action is really quite good, not so much in the weekly chart. We're looking at the gold. Uh, gold right now is down. Uh, well, it's about unchanged. At 18.50, stuck underneath uh, on the 9 and 14 period moving average. It needs to try to break above the, four, the 200 period moving average of 18.68. This is the story, crude oil. Had a nice rally, but now it's up. Uh, now it's down 29 cents at 180.57. Got stuck at that 120 level, 120.99, and we're looking at the TLT bond. Bonds are once again down. One and the yields are going high. This is a fascinating period. I'll talk a lot more about it when I get back from my Tiger Conditions Hour. 